hello it is the what is it today i think it's the 6th of november so welcome to the november prize unboxing i have got four prizes today to unbox and one to tell you about um it was a halloween win it was a facebook competition from mattress online i believe the company was um and i think that one was for zaki's uh clan costume it was a, a costume competition i think um, and I won a £50 Amazon voucher, but because they've already sent me that and it's been credited to my account, I can't unbox it. So um, thanks to Mattress Online for that one. Um, that was a Halloween win. Um, you are being a monkey. Are you going to sit down? Are you going to go down or are you going to be good? What do you think? Yeah, I don't think you're going to be good. Go on, down you go. Right. Um, this one, I'm not sure what this one is. Uh, how much I don't think I'm expecting a bit. Um, a bit. You were right in my way. Oh, this one. Um, technically, I suppose it's a win. I think, if, I, if I'm correct, it is from a camera and party that I did a couple of months ago. Um, and they messaged me afterwards to say um, they were going to, I think it's Campbell Books, send me a um, book to review. And I think they were going to send one every couple of months. Um, so I think that is what this is. Dear Gemma, we are delighted to send you there are 101 animals in this book as your first book as a Campbell Books ambassador. So um, you are getting on my nerves, aren't you? Yep. So yeah, I think we're going to get a few of these. Uh, so Theo will be chuffed with this because Theo loves his books. And that was, um, we did a, a come round party with Campbell Books, I think it was for Theo's birthday back in June, um, and they had selected a few people to be ambassadors. So we have got a new book. This one, I believe, is from, I can't remember their handle on this one, it was, um, we are, there's a strange one, um, but these, these are reusable makeup wipes, and they were, it was a competition run with a local blog, beauty blogger, and a company called, something like We Are Living, something like that on Instagram. I entered this one a while ago, I think it was when I was on my way back from Edinburgh, I was at the airport. So they are reusable makeup wipes, um, which I'm doing my mum a little hamper for Christmas and she's all into her eco products, so I think I'm going to put these in there as well. I think you just had to tag a friend, um, and I was chosen as one of the winners, I think there were three, three winners on that one. So um, there was a bit of delay on them, so they had them sent from Amazon the other day. So thank you very much. I don't think there is a note in here. No, there isn't with a company name. Um, but I'd say it was an author, a local beauty blogger and another company. Right, so that's those two. Uh, and now I've got more drink, I believe, for Christmas. So uh, this one is addressed to my Instagram handle name. So this could be, there's a couple actually, bottles of drink I'm waiting on. Is it free, free, free name? I can't remember the name of it. I'm assuming that might be this one. Oh no, ah, this one is the bathtub gin. I was expecting a little, well, it looked like a miniature bottle on this one. I'm going to get into here. You had to take a picture of your gin, I do believe, um, and post it on Instagram. And Serge was actually having a gin when we saw this, and he also posted a picture. What was the company? Bathtub Gin, I think. Let me take a check. Uh huh. That's a lovely bottle. I like that. So, um, mum has taken the boys to Spain for a couple of days, so I think I will give this to her when she comes back. So it's from Abelforth, it's a bottle of bathtub gin, it's a lovely bottle, and it was for posting a picture of your gin on Instagram. So thanks ever so much to them. I was expecting a miniature like, sample bottle because they gave, I think, 100 away. I didn't think they were giving the full bottles away. So that's brilliant, I'm really chuffed with that. Um, and this one, don't chew that, Luna. Maybe this one's the wine. Oh, this is the other 
one. I thought this one was also a tiny sample bottle. But it's not. <laughs> so I can't get into this either. I'm not doing very well packaging today, am I? Oh, actually, this might be small. Smallish. I think I can put it through. Ah. Oh, that's not, no, that's a decent size. I again thought this was a little tiny one. But um, this one is from the Bristol Dis Distilling Co on Instagram and they are giving away, also giving away quite a few of these. So really chuffed with that. Strawberry and lime gin liqueur. So these will make good presents at Christmas because I've won a lot of gin lately and I don't think even on the most stressful days with the kids, I will be getting through it all. So um, thanks to the Bristol Distilling Co for the yeah. strawberry and lime gin liqueur. Do the bathtub gin company on Instagram. Able for I think. This one, we are we are something something on Instagram. I can't remember because it was all one word and abbreviated and um uh no, I can't remember that one. And the local beauty blogger Sophie, someone or other. Uh and to Campbell Books and was that everything that was one two three four uh oh, and two mattress online on facebook for the um amazon voucher so that is all for today so that's a good start to november a few presents there and hopefully i will see you soon bye bye hello it is the eighth no seventh seventh of november um i have two today this one i believe is from tala tala cooking maybe on facebook um, it was a Halloween baking competition, um, which I won with a Halloween cake that I made. Um, it had meringue ghost on the top, uh, like a ganache, it was a drip cake, with meringue ghost on the top and peanut butter frosting. It was really good. Well, it tasted really good. Um, so I was lucky enough to be chosen as the winner for this one. And they um, were sending a bundle of cake decorating products, I think it was called. Um, so I have one, a stainless steel blade essential for delicate cake decorating and lifting. So one of those, um, some nozzles for icing, they're all different circular ones. Uh, some squeeze decorating bottles, these are handy for pancakes actually last year. Um, but these ones have got different nozzles on, different patterns. Um, some more nozzles, like star-shaped nozzles. And some star cutters for like fondant icing. And lastly, oh these are cool, Christmas tree biscuits. I got some star ones, I don't have any trees. Um, I have fun doing that the boys actually and let them decorate them. So they're quite cool. There's three different size Christmas tree biscuit cutters there. Um, yeah, that's a bad prize actually. That's some handy bits there. I've got a fair amount of baking stuff, but a few of my nozzles have gone missing and I don't have a lot of that, so that's a really handy one. Um, no note, just the invoice. Um, so thanks to Tala on Facebook for that one. They've run a lot of baking themed competitions. I think they had a vegan one the other day, they had a bonfire one. Um, I have tried to enter quite a few and as of yet I had been unsuccessful. So second up, don't know what this one is, I'm not sure, I'm trying to think what I'm waiting on that would fit in a box this size but I've drawn a blank. So, probably not even a prize, no me. Ah, this was Theo's win. Theo won this. He won this on Instagram with Quick Milks um, for his Halloween costume. They asked what flavour he would like. Oh, I'm glad we said a, a mixture of surprise. I didn't realise they did all of these flavours. So um, he's got, we've got forest fruits, we've got caramel flavour, we've got fruity cereal flavour, we've got chocolate and banana flavour, and we've got the wizard flavour. So um, again, I don't need any notes in there. But he will be chuffed with those, so I'll give those to him. So that was with Quick Milk on Instagram. I think they chose three winners um, for Halloween costumes this year. So um, that was brilliant. That's um, some lovely little prizes there. So thanks to Tala on Facebook. That was with a photo competition of a Halloween cake and the 
um, Quick Mints one was also a Halloween win with Theo and his little spider costume and his pumpkins. So hopefully see you soon. That is all for today. Bye bye. Hello, today is the 9th, I think, 9th of November. Um, I have got two here to unbox today. One is from a local competition. Um, it's hand-delivered by a company called Abbott Fox Estate Agents. I mean, it's a Halloween competition and you had to, there was a picture of a scarecrow, a scarecrow? Maybe like a skeleton scarecrow with a top hat. Um, and you had to guess his age. And I think I guessed 113, just because 13 the unlucky number um and i was the winner i was chosen as the winner for that um and the prize was a i'm sure it was john lewis 50 pounds john lewis voucher so that's really handy for um christmas shopping and also there was some hotel shopping goodies um some halloween ones so we got a skull lollipop um we got caramel vampires and Pumpkin, chocolate pumpkins. Oh, and they even have genuine cobwebs on. That is quite impressive. Real cobwebs. Um, so yeah, we've got some scary chocolate shapes and some caramel filled chocolate shapes. So that was from a local company called Abbott Fox Estate Agents, hand delivered, which is handy. Um, and that was a Halloween competition. So thanks to Abbott Fox for that. This is another Halloween competition um, from a company called so far lots of h's on instagram so it's so far spelt with an h at the end but quite a few h's i think there's three um make sure i am cutting the bag here uh, is it the bag yeah it's the bag. Nice the bag you had to for this one uh post a picture of a pumpkin and i had made a cinderella pumpkin um, so I shared the image of that one uh, and it was an image from last year I think so even if you don't have time to do new seasonal competition entries if you've got a good one from a previous year it's always worth entering um, so that was a that was a nice one this is some scatter cushions but I'm not sure what colour or pattern they are because I don't think it showed a picture of the ones that they win so I thought whatever they are they'd be handy for either me or my mum because um, we could do some new ones. Oh, I can't see what colour. Still. I'm going to make sure I wasn't cutting the cushions. Here we go. This is the company's name. This is this one here. So th this was on Instagram. Uh, they sell sofas. Funnily enough. And the scattered cushions they have sent me are drumroll. Oh, it's a nice colour. We've got a grey living room. I actually think they might go. It's kind of a bluey grey. I don't know if that's grey or blue. I'm going to give it grey because I want them to be grey. So um, that was a lovely prize. And like I say, that was a pumpkin design, a Halloween competition. Run on Instagram and you just had to upload your picture. Um, and we've got these two lovely scatter cushions. So thanks to Sofa, or Sofa, on Instagram for those and thanks to Abbott Fox estate agents they're based in Norwich so they're a local win um that is all for today and hopefully I will see you soon okay, bye bye hello it is the uh I'm pretty sure it's the 12th of November and I have got three here today um I think I know what this one is I'm not 100% sure so I think it could be part of a two-part prize. Facelifts. I did think it was from them, um, and so is this one. I was unsure of this prize. It was an Instagram win, and it was you had to tag three friends, but it was for you and your best friend, um, which I thought was odd that it asked you to tag three. But then there was one prize, but they announced two winners. Um, and the I was one of them, and the other girl I, I've never heard of. So I just questioned what exactly it was, and if there was um, one for a friend as well. I think this is the, them as well. Oh, it does look like there possibly is. 
I'm just unsure why we sent one on its own. So the company um, that I won with is Baselift on Instagram, um, which is a skincare company, and Funky Pins. They have some fab, funky little pins. Um, and it was a, a gift for a set for you and a set for your friend. Um, and I could only feel one in there, which is why I was confused. But these look like Youth Boosting Retinol Cream. So there's two of those. I think there's a third. There is a third. Um, Indian Eraser Clay, Deep Pore Cleaning. Um, I did read up on this, and I think that the skincare set itself is £165. Um, so that's a, a really lovely prize. It does look like there's a sage from me and a friend. Um, Derma Roller, Repair and Retexture, Roll Away Marks and Scars with Ease. Other two of those. Brightening serum, um, vitamin C, vitamin C and hyaluronic acid, acne marks, brightening, hydrating. All my skincare products are actually nearly running out, so this was really well timed. I was really pleased. Um, I don't know if the pins as well are a set each for you and a friend. We hope you enjoy this, those goodies for you and your bestie from Baselift and Punky Pins. That's cool, so it sounds like it is possibly. Oh, I think there's another skincare product each. Uh, a sanitizer spray. So that's that set. And this, I'm assuming, is the Punky Pins part of it. I don't know why they sent a third one of those, though. I think that was possibly a mistake. Um, take care of yourself. Punky Pins bag. So it, these bags are cool because um, I'm trying to give up my plastic bags. A bit late to the party, but um, I am really trying to remember to bring them when I go shopping now. So, what do we have here? So, there's two of these ones. And then I think there's a bit of a... Oh, hold on. I missed them two are the same. Um, and then we've got these ones. These ones are different, so I'll let my friend pick. What have we got? Tired but still kicking ass. Love yourself. Bad bitch. Can't cry underwater. A mermaid one. So um, they've also sent some some socks. Um, sent a key ring and some stickers. These will be good for decorating envelopes and things. Um, that's really cool. I'm chuffed with that. And those. So that was a prize from Punky Pins on Instagram and Baselift. And they did, um, they ran it on both of their pages. So I commented on both of their pages. Um, and it was obviously for a set each for you and your friend. So I was pleased about that because I was questioning whether or not it was for a friend. So I didn't tell my friend just in case. So um, last one here for today is not sure on this one there's a few things i'm waiting on i know it's could be but i don't know if it's what it is no clue on the box either so we have got Oh, this one. This one was run on Facebook and it was from a company called Rolling Homes, I think. And it was, I think it was Best Pumpkin. Um, so it's this company just here. And I think it was um, a Best Pumpkin. And instead of choosing, they then let it go to public vote. And I hate vote competitions. I would never, ever have anything had I've known. It was for a £100 voucher. I think it was Love to Shop or something. I can't, no, John Lewis, possibly John Lewis. And they then um, put it down to public vote, and I think it then becomes more of who knows who, and it's not really, no one really judges the entry, which is why I don't like it. Um, and we didn't win, but there was, I think it was three of us. So Jo won, hers was fab, it was like a slink dog. It was really good, really good effort. So she deserved to win. Um, and then there was me and another entry. Um, they then awarded a runner up prize, which I think they did, because there was a bit of a backlash in the post about it going to vote. So maybe they felt they had to, but still they didn't have to. Um, so it was nice of them to, to give us each something for being runners up. 
and it looks like oh, it's my favorite dairy milk to be fair that is a good prize that will keep me going for a while so i'm happy with that i'm easily um silenced with chocolate so yeah that was still a win is a win and technically i didn't win so they didn't have to send this so that's a really fab um a fab gesture so that was rolling homes on facebook and that was a halloween competition so that is everything for today um and hopefully i will see you soon bye bye hello, hello. so today is november the 17th and we have got two parcels here this one i'm pretty sure was um and um, this one is cool a friend gifted some stylist live tickets to me this year. Um, I didn't enter any in the end because me and Serge were going to be in London. But because we were in London, when she won some and then couldn't go, yeah. um, I talked some things together. So when we were there, Corsten, um, they had their new drink, Corsten Dry, and you could sample it. And then you had to take a photo and put it on Instagram and tag them in it yeah, with the hashtag Corsten it. Dry, I think. Um, yeah, to win a case of their drink. So we were luckily, um, lucky rather, enough to be chosen. They've given us a tote bag as well. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These are really nice. They were um, kind of like water with infused with, um, I think it's raspberry and then ginger and lemon. Um, and they're quite subtle and not overly sweet. So we have got a case of each flavour. So this one is a water with a twist of raspberry and this one is with a twist of ginger and lemon. Oh, you can't see them. So they're in these cans um, and you had to take a photo, share it on social media. I think and we got these, one, two, three, This four, one is um, lemon and ginger, isn't it? So we got the lemon and ginger as well. Um, so that was a really, really um, handy win because the goodie bag from that as well was brilliant. I think it was like 215 pounds. Um, and I sent my friend the other one because obviously I didn't want it to say thanks for giving us the ticket. Can you do this? Um, and then we won a competition whilst we were there. So that was really, really good. So thanks to Corsten Press for that one. Um, and this one, this one's huge. It's going to be really awkward to get out the box. We might have to stop and come back. Let's have a go. Let's have a go, okay? Right, watch yourself because we've got to come all the way along here with the sharp thing. This one here was, sorry, does it elbow you in the head? No. Oh. This one was a win from, well, Delicious Magazine. Every month they have a feature where you can make something in the magazine and then send it in. Um, I think it's called Made It Delicious or something like that. And um, I've done it for the last few months um, and I actually won the, which one was this? This would have been the, I think it was the September issue. The, um, no, it would have been the October issue. It was a Halloween cake I made with the ghost, let's see what we do here, with the ghost meringues on top. Um, it was like a drip cake. And they emailed me only last there, week to say that I was this month's winner. What I might have to do, Theo, is move you. It was for a, oh, okay, it's coming. I think it was a £475 cutlery canteen from Robert Welch. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do is we're just going to stop the video and we'll come back in a second. We're going to get it all done. Right, we're back. That was very well packed. So, we're nearly there anyway. I'm not sure it's in this one. So it was, I think it was a Radford um, collection. It was a cutlery canteen. So we've got... All the cutlery in there, 56 pieces, so eight sets. Um, and what are we going to do Oh, all the big guys. So we've got all the big ones. And I think we're upside down here. Theo's going to be opening this one. Let me just turn it over, it's very heavy. You don't want to get your fingers underneath. You can move that page with your boy, well done. Right, let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look. <gasps> so it's to put it all in. That's going to be beautiful, isn't it? It's going to be our special, well, special well, ones. Well, well, we can't get no, this is to put all the cutlery in, sweetheart. It's all the cutlery at the one. So yeah, that was a, a fantastic win. Um, I was well, just to buy I'm sure it's £475 um, well, on cutlery sets. Um, and that was for making um, a I'm recipe not, out of uh, the Delicious magazine. Um, you can submit it. I think you can only submit it online these days. I remember they used to have you tag them in on social media. Um, so yeah, we're really, really oh, chuffed with that one. That's a really big fork. It's for a giant. Whoa. 
So um, thanks to Delicious Enjoy. Magazine for our cutlery uh -oh. canteen, and thanks uh -oh. to Corst and Fred for our um, uh -oh. cases of Corst and Dry. Uh oh, we'll put them all in there in a minute. You're gonna say bye bye. Bye. You disappeared. Where have you gone? <laughs> say bye bye. <laughs> See you soon. Bye bye. Hello. Today is uh, November the twentieth. Um, I've got a few here, and I'm trying to work out which things are Christmas shopping and which things are parcels. The only thing I'm in two minds about is this one, because there's a couple of things it could be, and there's not much of a clue on it. So I'm going to do this first, so I can stop the video and start again, if I'm wrong. Yes, this is a cry. This one was a rare Sunday win. Actually, on Sunday this week, I won two competitions, and I never win anything on a Sunday. So um, let's deliver this one quite quickly. It was with a Facebook page, I've entered a couple, I think we keep doing flash competitions called UK Christmas, UK Christmas Lights, Christmas Lights UK, Christmas, hopefully they'll put in who that thing is, something Christmas UK. Um, and they have some really cool Christmassy prizes, and this one was for some zap lights. Um, Theo loves Christmas lights, any kind of coloured lights, so he will love these. We have got, so it's an app controlled um, cone light, multicolored for indoor and outdoor. So we don't put them outside on the tree because we've got most of our indoor ones. We don't really have much for our, um, our garden. So they're quite cool because they're app operated. So yeah, we will um, put these ones in our garden this year. So you can see they're like little cones um, and they're multicolored. So that was thanks to, I'm just to check they didn't write anything in there. I don't think there was. No, UK Christmas something or other. This one here, this is a little flash competition from Wisdom. They always run them on Facebook, Wisdom Toothbrushes. Um, I never win and there's never many entries, so I was beginning to get offended. <laughs> but I did win this time. And it's for a firm grip toothbrush. So um, this is handy because we go away a lot, so it's cool to have a, a portable one. Um, I think there were 10 winners on that and you just had to comment. Something to do with I'm a celebrity. Just as the compliments. So thanks to Wisdom Toothbrushes on Facebook for that one. It's another Facebook one. This one for me is a rare Twitter win. Um, I don't know those of you that watch I'm a Celebrity. Tom Bowler seems to sponsor it every year, and they always do this um, the ad breaks, the Tom Bowler bugs. So I won't show you the check. There's a check there, but it's got my address on the top bit. Um, and you have to tweet in as soon as you see them. So I won on the very first round of it. I think there was 11 adverts on the opening show. Um, so every time the ad break comes on, the bugs scuttle about and you have to tweet Tombola Bugs TV or something like that. Um, and they just choose one at random uh, to win £100. So it says here, thank you for playing online with Tombola, the UK's biggest bingo site. Further to your recent withdrawal request, please find and close your cheque for £100. Should you have any questions or... I had to have my, because um, they credit your Tombola account, that's right, so you have to have a Tombola account, but I don't actually play the online bingo, so because I'd never um, used a card on there before, they wouldn't let me withdraw it by card, they had to send a cheque, so um, you can withdraw it as soon as, you don't have to use it as um, bingo credit or anything like that, so um, it's worth keeping an eye out, because they seem to do it on and off throughout the series, and you just watch, as soon as you see them on the ad break, you tweet, I think you get two minutes, and then they, they immediately choose a winner, so you find out within two minutes. So um, thanks to Tom Bowler for that one, that's handy for some shopping. This one here is from a company called Gandhi's. They ran this last week on um, Facebook and Instagram and there was an hourly competition all day to win bags, coats, jumpers. Um, I tried a couple of times and then I was lucky enough to win. So I won a jumper here that I think my brother would like. So um, I'm gonna give that to him for Christmas. And it was for one of these. I think they're sixty pounds on their website. So yeah, sixty four ninety nine. So it's a cable knit jumper. Um, and yeah, that one's going to go in the Christmas bag. Really, really thick material, really well made. So it's a black Himalayan cable knit jumper. And you had to. I think they asked the question, "Where are you spending Christmas this year? Um, what's Christmas tradition?" Um, and then they were just choosing at the end of the hour, again immediately informing you, which is quite cool. So, um, yeah, that was one on the Instagram 
platform for that one. I think it was just Facebook and Instagram we ran it on. So thanks to Gandhi's for that one. This one, I'm not sure what it is. I don't think it's a present. Aha, this one. Every hot water bottle I've ever had, I've either lent it away or given it to the boys or someone stole it. Um, and this one, I thought was really cool. <laughs> There's an Instagram competition with Cassandra uh, HWB, I think it is on Instagram. Um, and I won this cool sequin one. So um, I can't see any of the boys stealing that one. Although you can brush it up the other way and make it silver. So let's make sure they don't notice that. Um, so yeah, I love hot water bottles and every time I get one, it seems to disappear. So this one, I'll be keeping it safe. So it's from this company, Cassandra, and I think it's HWB, Sound of the Hot Water Bottles. Um, that one was just a comment and tag a friend. I think I did a story on it, um, just because I thought it was quite cool. So yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with that one. Um, I will be right back. <laughs> that was good timing, that was one more parcel. And that, this one is from, oh, I don't know how you say it. Free, free neck, free neck. I don't know. Anything that's in a different language throws me. I don't know pronunciation. I'll show you the bottle and you can make your own mind up. But this was another Instagram win. I think they had seven bottles to give away. Um, and I was one of the lucky winners on that one. Um, bring it out. Again, this will go as another Christmas present. Oh, brilliant. And it's alcohol free. So um, we have got a... Uh, a bump in the family at the minute. So this will be perfect present for mummy. Um, so there we go, you can decide how you pronounce that. <laughs> so yeah, that was on their Instagram page. Uh, like I said, there was a few bottles to win. Um, and yeah, I'm trusted that. I didn't realize it was alcohol free, which is even better. So um, thank you to, however we say this company, to Cassandra HWB, to Gandhi's, to Tombola, to Christmas UK lights on Facebook and to wisdom toothbrushes. So um, that's all for today. I hope we'll see you soon. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I'm supposed to tell you about. Have I got an email? No, I don't think so. So, see you soon. Bye bye. Hello, it is the, uh, I think we're on the 26th. So we are four days away from the adverts. Um, I've got two today. This one, I think, is a uh, cereal win from Cheerios. It is. It's, um, there's a lot of these to give away, so I think um, there will be quite a few people with these. I think it's a cereal unit. I think we won one of these ones before. I think it was a Star Wars one, a BB-8 one maybe, um, a while ago. Um, and I do remember last time being really confused by it. <laughs> I think I'm about to be again. Is there any instructions? You had to, um... Yeah, so it's with Nestle. Oh, hold on, what's this? It is with Nestle and you enter a code, which is um, on a quiz that they have, um, which I didn't know anything about. So Nikki kindly helped me with that because I was absolutely clueless. Um, so what do you do? I think you pour your milk in in here and then you pour your cereal in here and then what? Right, that was way more complicated than I think it was supposed to be. It took me a while but I got there in the end. So I've decided this is your bowl, this is your spoon. You've already filled this one up with milk and you put your cereal in here. So then I'm guessing you would pour your cereal out and you would pour your milk on top and you'd eat it from this bowl. You'd need a few servings, I think. But it is nifty and I think the boys will like that. I think I will put that one probably in um, Theo's stocking, actually. We can win another one for Zaki, but I think it's more Theo-sized. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. That is a nifty little idea. We're travelling a bit. Um, next year so Theo can take that with him because he's a big cereal fan so thanks to Nestle for that one there are I think there's hundreds possibly even thousands of people so I'm, I'm assuming it'll be an easy win for a lot of people um and thanks again to Nikki for help with the cold on that one this one I think I must have won this two or three months ago now 
Um, it was run with a company on Instagram called Horizon, um, and it's spelled H-O-R-I-Z-N, and they're a luggage company. And this one was um, done in conjunction with, I think BMW helped design this case. And when I looked how much they're worth, they're 350 pounds. So it's the Horizon Studios case um, for BMW. Um, I didn't realise though, because UPS never told me it was sitting at our local shell garage for the last two months. So, um, yeah, it's a really smart case, designed with BMW, from a company called Horizon. I know some of them had power packs on them. I'm not sure that this one does, let me see. I was trying to work out exactly which one it was. I don't think this one did. No, it's just a compartment in the front. Um, so yeah, that's a lovely case. Uh, so I love this one because I won the Ander one. He always moans that mine's nicer than his. So this one will be for Serge. So um, that is a fantastic prize. Um, really smart case for Serge. Before we go away, we've got a few, um, I think we're off to Italy next week and then we're off to Inverness for Christmas. So that'll come in handy there. Um, I have also got two non-boxable ones to tell you about. One is with a company on Instagram called Swifty Scooters. Um, or on a £500 voucher with them, uh, they have got some fitness scooters, which Serge's birthday is next week, so I think we'll also get him one of those. I think they were £499, so that's perfect. Um, and I think you had to like their Instagram page and Swifty Scooter Kids page, possibly, I think it was called. So the kids version. Um, and then just tag friend. Um, so they messaged me on Friday to say that I had won that and um, they're sending the voucher through this week. And there was another one that is a non-boxable one and that is oh it's just left my head it is oh elf the musical in london tickets to that um so i don't know if you remember a while back i won a premier in stay or zaki did it was um the one about the premier in moon uh and what you thought he dreamt about and that was run on facebook i think it's probably three or four months ago and zaki um Something to do with the breakfast, I think he said. But he was the lucky winner of that one, and we won an overnight stay. So we booked it for um, the 21st and 22nd of December um, in London, and we booked stuff to do at Hyde Park Winter Wonderland. And then this, this elf competition, I thought it said the 22nd, the tickets before it didn't, it said the 23rd. So then when we won them, I was like, oh no, we come back, and we fly to Inverness the next morning. So then I messaged the Premier in. I thought there'd be no chance it was near Christmas, could we swap the date? So she said all the central London hotels were then fully booked. And I explained the situation. She was really lovely and said, keep the Holborn stay. So we're going to stay there on the the first night. And then she said she's going to throw in for free another stay at the new Wembley one. So we will be right there for Elf. So um, that was really lovely of them because they didn't have to do that. And it's right on top of Christmas. So we actually have ended up with two nights stay in London over Christmas with the Premier Room and tickets to see Elf the Musical. So um, that was really, really, I'm really chuffed about that because I wanted to see that um, last year. So uh, we will be going to see Elf the Musical and um, we will be staying for two nights in Premier Inn instead of one, uh, both of which free. So um, that is a great prize on top of Christmas. Um, and that, I think, is all I have to tell you about. And um, hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hello, today is the, it's the 29th of November. Um, I've got a few here, uh, and it's that time of year where I'm not quite sure what's presents and what's prizes. So, the two that I'm not sure about, I'm going to open first. Uh, um, I actually think this is a prize. Oh, they came really quickly. I think I only won this yesterday or the day before. It's a company on Instagram called Talkies. So it's this company just up here. Um, and they do, I think the boys will love these. I think you can record um, a voice in your card. So there's five of them. I don't know how you do it. But there's five Christmas cards that you can um, record your voices in. So I thought it'd be quite nice for the boys to do it of a family. Um, I think they had five winners. Five winners winning five cards. And I think they do video ones as well, because then the next day there was a video, um, a video prize one. So thanks to them on, on Instagram, I think this was. Um, it's Talkies by TP, I think is the handle. 
um, and you just had to I think say why you wanted them um, so I was one of the lucky ones on that I think yeah they delivered those really quickly I'm sure it was yesterday I won those um, so great that was a prize um, the other one I wasn't sure about just pop those there is this one <sighs> In the prize actually. This is from a company on Instagram called Aftershocks, um, and I was lucky enough to win a set of their headphones. I went online to see how much they were, and I think they were £149. Oh, there's two pairs. Okay, I didn't realise there's two. So it's um it was a good give good vibes, I think. Was well, something to do with good vibes, I don't know if that was a hashtag. Um, so there is some Aeropex wireless bone conduction headphones. These are the ones I thought I was getting. Um, and then there's another, some bone, bone conduction headphones. So that, um, that's a surprise because I thought there was only one pair. Um, so I need to say a big thank you to them so I can give make someone's day by surprising them with a pair of headphones show us who you gave your aftershocks headphones to and why in a photo or video keep the good vibes going share your stories with us on social media ah i might give those to daddy for the gym so we could have a pair each that's such a lovely idea so i guess the idea of this one was that they gave you some to gift as well um so yeah i'll do that i'll share a story of that i can share a picture of daddy with his and me with mine so that again was aftershock on Instagram um, and I think you just had to say who you would give the other pair to. So um, that's a lovely surprise. Uh, do you know what, I'm going to open this one because this is, I think I know what this is, but just to double check, I think this is a Instagram prize again from Start Right. This one was for a really lovely pair for Zaki because I keep winning things that I buy for Theo. Um, a lovely pair of Chelsea boots for um, Zaki. I thought they are lovely. So um, these are for Zaki, some smart autumn and winter boots. Um, and you could choose the size um, and the colour. And I think you just had to tag another friend. I think it was a straightforward comment and tag um, to win a lovely pair of their Chelsea boots. So really chuffed with those. I think Zaki will like those. Um, yeah, I would have got them for Theo, but Theo's got a lot of shoes, and at his age, he grows so quickly, so I didn't want to waste them when you'd only be in them for a short time. Um, so yeah, that was start right on Instagram, and I think you just had to tag a friend, I don't think there was much to it. Um, so I was the lucky winner of that one. This one, I know this is fine, because this is for Mags the cat. I don't often win Nike stuff. But um, this was a high life uh, conference on Instagram. Um, you had to, I think you had to say maybe the, your, cat, your cat's name, a bit about your cat, why you thought your cat deserved a treat. Um, and she's been my buddy for a long time. When I lived on my own, I got her when I came out of hospital. Um, and she was kind of a, a good companion back then. And she is going on, I think she must be 30, 15 now. And she's had to endure babies, puppies, man children. So um, she's done well, bless her. She has won. Congratulations for winning our recent competition. We hope that your kitty loves their prize. Lots of love, High Life. So she's won some meat from, this is the company I won them with, High Life. Uh, she's won some chicken breast treats. She has won some duck breast treats. Some more chicken breast treats and some more duck breast treats. And she has one. She'll be chuffed with these. She's quite an old cat and she's quite serious, but every now and again she does like to play. Uh, where's mine? Oh, I mean. Congratulations on winning the Every Cat is Special Prize of High Life. Freak me out. This called, um, the company for this one's called Freak Me Out, Mary Nicholas. So she's got a Q&A. Um, I'm 
Oh, that's lovely. So she's got these tiny little toys. And she's got a little angel or fairy. A little gingerbread man. Keep these out of Luna's way because Luna will just annihilate them. Oh, they're all cute. It's in the little box. Ah, it's a pudding. Look at that. Um, yeah, they're lovely. I was chuffed at that. I don't often win mags anything. Um, she's not really a posy cat. She's more serious and she's a bit moody moo moo. But um, she will love those. So I uh, chuffed at that one. We we'll always do the animals a little stocking every year. So we'll keep some of them for that. Not that she's going to be surprised. She sleeps most of Christmas day. So that is from High Life. And the other one is called... Where is the name of the company? It's this one. Freak Freak Me Out. Um, and again, that was... Just, I think you had to say why you thought your cat would like this prize. Um, and I think... Oh, we've got one more. And so I think that's all. This one, I'm pretty sure, is a prize. I think. Oh, I meant to look. Is it S? S G X N what? Oh, I can't remember. I hope put a note in here. Um, it's a birch box. The a birch box from last month. Um, so it was this vanity case. Kind of, um, oh, please, sir! They put something in here with a name on it, didn't they? Have it was S. There's a limited edition birch box. Oh, SGX NYC. I was nearly there. That's the company I won it from on Instagram. You had to, I think you had to tag a friend maybe. And then you won this limited edition birch box that they did. Um, so it's nourishing night cream. Um, what is this? It's written in French. Oh, two minute cleansing detox mask. Uh, Sukin Rose Hip Nourishing Cream Cleanser. I had some of this from um, the, not this one, but some of the products from the stylist show, and that, they're, they're quite good. I've used them every day. Protective texture spray for your hair. Uh, foot soak, watermelon foot soak. Uh, Aveda Hand and Body Wash. Um, Hydrants Aqua Gel. Some soap, soap sponge, two in one, and a sheet mask and a hair mask. So that's lovely. All of my, um, I was only saying so today, all of my beauty products and things that I use are now running out, and most of those I won. So with the stylus bag and, and this, um, I'm stocked up again. So that's really, really handy. I was really pleased with that one. Um, and again, that was from SGXNYC. That's the company on... Um, on Instagram that I won it with uh, and it's a limited edition birch box and um, the bag's good as well because my makeup bag is so grubby so it's nice to have a new one I just wish it wasn't white but um yeah that's a lovely prize so thanks to SGX NYC on Instagram for the limited edition birch box freak me out and high life for the cat treats start right for the kids boots or Zaki's boots um aftershocks for both pairs of headphones which is a pleasant surprise and to talkies on instagram for the cards so um that's a great unboxing haul there um it is the 29th of november uh i might not be back again because obviously tomorrow is the last day so if i'm not good luck with uh all the advents for those of you that do them and have a happy new year i possibly will post the next one before then um but probably not over christmas so i hope you all have a really lucky december um and a merry christmas so, bye-bye. Hello, it is the last day of November. So the advent starts tomorrow. The elves arrive tomorrow as well, don't they? We just got one more. So we're gonna do it. And um, this one is from, uh, it's an Instagram win from a company called Cream of Cornwall, I think. Yeah, no, we, won this, we won this for Nanny, didn't we? Um, that's why we entered it. No, it's something, a treat for Nanny. We're gonna give it to her tomorrow. Um, Oh, careful. Let me just do this one with the scissors because I don't think we need that one. But I just yeah. It was literally a comment, um, tag a friend and comment. Hold on, you can help me open it if I cut this a bit. Uh, and then you won a, it was a seafood cutter. 
Careful, careful, because you're going to cut my hand. You are, you're going to cut my hand with it. We don't need that now, we can do it with our hands, it's like a present. Here we go. So yeah, it's from this company, this one here, Cream of Cornwall on Instagram. Um, and it was for this lovely seafood platter. And then we could choose whether we want for the, I mean, there was a squid one, lobster, uh, lob, a lobster one. I can't remember what the other one was. Mum chose oh, the lobster one. Hold on, hold on, careful, careful. Oh, Pass me that, because you've got a blade right there, haven't you? Oh. Yeah. Careful, you might scratch Nanny's blade. I think we, we're done with that now, aren't we? We don't want to scratch it. You need to got my leg. Right, so we have got really well packaged. I was worried it would be broken because it only came in a jiffy bag. I'm going to take that away from you if this I can. This is the poppy that. stuff. That pops. Pop stuff. Right, why don't you go and pop some of that with Zachy? He's got it all over there, look. Oh, right, we're finally in, we're finally in. It is this lovely seafood platter. So, again, it was this company on Instagram. So, it's Cream Cornwall. And you literally just had to tag a friend in comment. Um, that was one, I think that was one last week. It's come up pretty quickly. So, that's a lovely um, surprise for Nanny, isn't it? Because she thinks it's nice when we've won them. Lobster! Lobster! Nanny's had that a lot this year. So um, that is all. So Merry oh, Christmas. Are you going to say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry and we will see Merry you Merry Christmas. on Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas, you poopy animal, and a Happy New Year. <laughs> He's been watching Home Alone. <laughs>